I got a little blue box, and I can't wait to see what's inside of it. I think the only other thing that comes in a blue box that I might enjoy getting more than the sew sampler is something from Tiffany's. Hey friends, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Becca, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at the November 2020 package for Sew Sampler. The Sew Sampler is a monthly sewing subscription box. It is curated by Fat Quarter Shop. It costs $31 and change as of the recording of this video. Usually includes some fabric, a pattern, some notions, and a block of the month program. If you want to learn more about the Sew Sampler, you can check out all the information in the description box below. Before we dive into this video, let me please ask you, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, would you please consider hitting that subscribe button? It doesn't cost anything from you, but it means a lot to me, and it tells YouTube that you want to be notified the next time I post a video or go live, which I do every Friday night. All right, let's dive in. You want to know a good use for a seam ripper? Cutting the tape on your sew sampler. Here's our sneak peek for the month. The theme is Woodland Romance. The back of these cards usually have a promo code that you can use for a special sale for Sew Sampler members. This month is no different. We have 15% off of Jelly Rolls. No, not that kind of Jelly Roll. The fabric Jelly Roll. You know, the fabric that's cut two and a half inches by with the fabric and then all rolled into a little roll. That's a Jelly Roll. Okay. Oh, so cute. Okay, 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 I'm not hating this. First up, we've got a little pamphlet that tells us about all the items that are in this month's box. And I'm cheating right now and looking. Ha ha, you can't stop me. The first thing that we have is called a bobbin boat. That's really kind of a cool name. This is a sewing notion by Dritz. This is what that sewing notion looks like. You can see it is actually U-shaped. And so you just put your bobbins in this little canal and keeps them all nice and tidy. This sewing notion retails for, let me consult my documentation. Ah, uh, yes, $4.48. The next thing that we have is a little pair of mini duck bill scissors by Gypsy Quilter. Down here you can take a look at the scissors. They're kind of angled up a little bit to give you a flat surface to cut against your fabric so you can get those threads without cutting the fabric. The scissors are four inches and this little flat duck bill down here is a half of an inch. These scissors from the Gypsy Quilter retail for $14.98 and they're purple so cute. These scissors I find are really good for cross stitch, embroidery, or applique because it lets you cut the threads that are close to your project without snipping your fabric. Cool. The next notion I both love and hate at the same time. I love it because I've been wanting to buy one of these for myself, but I hate it because it feels like it's almost too small to really use. We have a mini cut and press, and if you don't know what that is, let me show you. Down here you can see this side has an ironing surface, and it's got all the measurements that you would have on your cutting board, and then when you flip it over, you have a cutting mat. So the idea is that if you have a cut and press system, you can iron on one side and cut on the other. This little handy notion, they say, retails for... $16.24. I really like this. I like the feel of it. I like the way it looks. And these are really useful because if you're going on a retreat or something, you can press here and cut here. But this surface is only big enough to accommodate like a five inch square if you're lucky. So this has got to be really used for like some really teeny tiny crumb piecing. I mean... I don't even feel like my iron would fit on top of this surface. Okay, so I lied. My iron would fit on top of it, but it's not going anywhere because it takes up the entire pressing pad. This is kind of cool if I wanted to test it out before I bought a big one, though. Every month starting in April and running all the way through March, Fat Quarter Shop hosts a block of the month program. So sampler members get a free recipe or pattern for that month's block in their box. And then in month 12, you also get a finishing 
recipe that tells you how to put all of your blocks into a final quilt top. It's basically the setting pattern. This month we have our card. It is for the Greatest Hits album quilt track number eight. And you can see in the close-up view down here, this is what block number eight will look like. I really like these little patterns. I've not been doing them, but I like that they're on little half-sized pieces of paper. On good cardstock, they're good collectible. I really should get around to doing this, but there are so many projects that I should just get around to doing. This is probably not going to be one of them. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, if the block of the month is something that you actually want to do, you can participate. Each of these cards are available for sale on Fat Quarter Shop's website for $4.98. Our pattern this month is called Feelin' Pine. That's really kind of a fun name. This is exclusively for the November 2020 box, so you're not going to be able to buy this anywhere else, but the retail value on this pattern is $9.98. Taking a look at the pattern down here, this is what the quilt will actually look like, and on the back it's got two size options. The lap version will measure 54 and a half inches by 64 and a half inches, and the twin version will measure 74 and a half by 84 and a half inches. You can see the lap version here is going to need one junior jelly roll, while the twin version is going to need two junior jelly rolls or one full-size jelly roll. And our box would not be complete without some fabric, so to go with that pattern, we have a little bit of the fabric that we need to get this started. We still need to bring our background and our own binding, but they did give us a junior jelly roll for the lap size version of that quilt. The junior jelly roll that we got this month is featuring the folktale line from Layla Boutique. I am not going to flip through every single piece in this jelly roll because it's just a little too hard to pull it apart and show you what it looks like. But here's what I will do. I'm going to go ahead and grab a snapshot from Fat Quarter Shop that shows you what all of the fabrics in this line or mini jelly roll look like. And I'm putting it up here on the screen for you right now so you can take a look at it. While this fabric line is definitely not in the colors that are traditionally in Layla's wheelhouse, it's got some oranges and some rust, and it's starting to veer away from the bright colors that she normally uses. It's not horrible. This looks like Layla does fall, honestly, and I'm not hating it. I almost bought some Fat Eighth or Fat Quarter Bundle on Etsy, and I held off because I was pretty sure that in the Sew Sampler box coming up, we might get some of it, and I'm holding fast to see if we get some in our pre-cuts box. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I have not even started the project that was in the October box, but it's not because I don't want to or didn't have all the materials. Last month, they actually gave you everything that you needed to do the project. I just haven't had any time, but it is in my list of things to work on soon. Hopefully before I get December's box. <laughs> So unfortunately, I've got nothing to show you, but maybe next time I'll be able to show you either October or November's project. Thank you so much for going through the November 2020 Sew Sampler package with me. I had a blast diving in to see what Fat Quarter Shop sent to us this month. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, watch some videos, and most importantly, come back Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time where I like to sew live right here on YouTube, and I'd love a chance to hang out with you. I'll see you guys all later. Bye!